this episode of Engineering Career TV, I'm going to answer a question from an engineering student who wants to know how he can prepare himself to be the best engineer he can be. This topic was brought about by a question from a listener named Carl who asks, I am currently completing the third year as an undergraduate at Cal State University, Northridge. My question is this, what do you think are some key moves that I could be doing now to groom myself as a soon-to-be civil engineer looking for a position in freshwater resources management. I am a returning student completing my bachelor's degree in civil engineering. My first career started with digging ditches and humping lumber and ended in construction management. I chose civil engineering because I have committed myself to addressing climate change and I knew that my knowledge in construction could be valuable in this endeavor. I am focusing on water resources management and I am driven to work in fields such as drought mitigation, watershed restoration, flood mitigation, and forest restoration. Carl offers a great question here and in his specific case, he's asking how he can prepare to be the best civil engineer that he can be while in school. But I want to answer this in a broader way for anybody out there. How can you prepare to be the best you can be in your field? Whether you are still a student, a young engineer, a progressing engineer, or even a manager who wants to take the next step, how can you prepare for that next step in your career, whatever it might be? And the answer is simple. Talk to people that are successful in your industry. This is definitely the first thing I would do. Whenever you are doing something that you want to be successful in, the best way to do that is to go to successful people in that specific field and learn from them. So in Carl's case, he would go to water resources experts in California where he is. There are probably a ton of them. And interview them, just like I interview people on my podcasts. And ask questions and find out how they got to where they are. What did they do to prepare? Was there a course or a book or a person that they read about or information that they read up on? That is the first thing I would do. Then what I would do next is execute on their answers. So if they say that learning and developing their communication skills or learning the technical side of their field was the best thing for them, then that's what I would do. So don't recreate the wheel. Go to the best in the field, and I mean the best of the best, and find out what they have done to succeed, and then imitate them. Not necessarily copy them, you want to be yourself, but imitate them and develop the same skills, and you will put yourself also in a position to succeed. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you and I want you to take full advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to this show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.